To pay off or not to pay off, navigating your mortgage in Canada. Welcome back, everyone. It seems like every time I turn around, someone's popping the big question. No, not that question. I'm talking about whether to throw extra cash at the mortgage or park it in some investments. Now, most think they've got this figured out. They're just double-checking, hoping I'll just nod along. But here's the kicker. It's not always as clear-cut as it seems. So, should you pay off that mortgage early or should you invest those extra dollars for a shot at bigger bucks? It's a big decision that could seriously shape your financial landscape. But fear not, I'm here to break it down for you. We're going to crunch some numbers, weigh out the pros and cons, and get you all the info you need to make the smartest call for your situation. Let's roll up our sleeves, dive into the nitty-gritty, and find out what's the best move for you as a savvy homeowner here in the Great North. Hope this is enlightening for you. Understanding the basics. Mortgage versus investment. All right, let's break it to the basics. First off, what does it mean to pay off or prepay your mortgage? Simple. It's when you decide to be a go-getter and throw some extra cash at that mortgage. You're speeding up payments to cut down your principal faster than the bank planned. Saving yourself a chunk of interest in the long run. That's money in your pocket. Now flip the script and think about investing. Instead of sinking that surplus into your house, you could be tossing it into the world of stocks, bonds, or guaranteed investment certificates, better known as GICs. Here's the goal, aiming for returns that might just outpace what you'd save on your mortgage interest. It's about making your money work harder for you. So what's it going to be? Let's figure out which route takes the cake for your cash. Sample calculation, mortgage payment versus investment growth. All right, let's roll out a classic showdown here. Mortgage payment versus investment growth. We're talking about a head-to-head -head battle between paying down the home and playing the investment game. Here's the setup. You've got a mortgage sitting at $100,000, tagged with a 5% interest rate that's compounded semi-annually. We're stretching this out over a 25-year amortization period for this example. On the other side, you're considering tossing that same $100,000 into a Guaranteed Investment Certificate, or GIC, eyeing a 5% annual return compounded annually. Round one, mortgage payments. Using my trusty Canadian mortgage calculator because it compounds interest semi-annually. You're shelling out roughly $581.60 every month, principal and interest. Total damage over 25 years, a cool 174 to 48150 with 74, 48150 of that just in interest. Round two, investment growth. Here, your $100,000 is bulking up in the market at a steady 5% a year. Give it 25 years and you're looking at a beefed up 338, 635 to 49. That's no chump change. So what's it going to be? Pay down the palace or let your cash flex in the market? Let's dive deeper and see which strategy knocks it out of the park for your financial plan. Evaluating the financial impact. All right, let's get down to brass tacks here. When you're torn between funneling extra money into your mortgage or beefing up your investments, you must roll up your sleeves and dig deep into a solid financial analysis. We're not just throwing darts in the dark here. We're looking for a strategy that ticks all the boxes, returns, personal finance health, life goals, and the economic landscape. Here's the game plan to break it down. One, comparative interest analysis. Kick things off by stacking your mortgage interest rate against the expected returns from investments. Say your mortgage is chugging along at 5%, but you could potentially rake in 7% to 8% from stocks or mutual funds. Sounds tempting to toss your chips into the investment pot, right? But pump the brakes. Higher returns come with higher risks. Make sure you're ready to ride that roller coaster. Two, total cost and return calculations. Crunch the numbers to calculate the total cost of blasting away your mortgage versus the total potential return from investments. For instance, throwing $100,000 at a 5% mortgage over 25 years will run you about 174 dollars r On the flip side, letting that same money work in the market at 5% could balloon up to around $338,635.49. The math points to a sweeter deal with investing, assuming the market doesn't throw a tantrum. 3. Risk versus Reward Sure, investments might promise the moon, but remember, they can also crash and burn. The stock market is a wild beast that can give and take in equal measure. Meanwhile, paying down your mortgage? That's your safe bet with a guaranteed return in interest savings. No thrills, but no spills either. 4. Cash flow considerations. Mull over how both moves, paying off the mortgage or investing, shake up your monthly budget and long-term cash flow. 
Sprinting to mortgage freedom can trim your monthly bills faster, beefing up your wallet down the road. But investments? They might lock up your cash short-term but can potentially serve up a steady stream of dividends or interest for more financial flexibility. 5. Impact on net worth? Weigh how each choice could pump up your net worth. Ditching mortgage debt boosts your home equity straight up while investing could potentially fatten up your overall funds, especially if those returns consistently outpace your mortgage rate. 6. Psychological and emotional factors. Don't brush off the mental winds of being mortgage-free. The sheer relief of nixing debt can sometimes outweigh the dazzle of potential investment gains. 7. Scenario planning. Toss different what-if scenarios into the mix, like shifts in interest rates, investment swings, or changes in your financial situation. Playing out these scenarios helps you gauge which strategy might hold up better under various economic skies. So there you have it. By tackling each of these angles, you can make a well-rounded decision that not only makes sense on paper, but feels right too. Keep in mind there's no one-size-fits-all answer here. It's about what fits your life stage, risk appetite, and financial dreams. Go ahead and make your move with confidence. Considerations for Canadian homeowners. All right, Canadian homeowners, let's line up the big considerations you need to mull over when deciding whether to tackle that mortgage early or put your bucks to work in the market. One, interest rates. It's all about the numbers game here. How's your mortgage rate stacking up against the potential returns from investments? Look, historically speaking, when you play the long game in strong markets, investments usually sprint past what you'd save on mortgage interest, especially when those mortgage rates are keeping low. 2. Tax implications. Now here in Canada, we don't get to deduct mortgage interest on our primary homes like our neighbors down south. But remember, the tax man still wants a piece of your capital gains and investment income. Make sure you're crunching those numbers to see what your investments are netting you after taxes compared to what you're shelling out on that mortgage. 3. Liquidity needs cash is king when it comes to emergencies. Money locked up in your home equity isn't as quick to reach as cash in stocks or GICs, which you can cash out when the going gets tough. Keep that liquidity in mind. 4. Risk tolerance and economic considerations. Higher returns from investments can be tempting but they come with their fair share of ups and downs. Your sleep at night comfort level with these roller coaster rides and where the economy's heading are big time players in your decision making process. Five, mortgage terms and prepayment privileges. Don't overlook the fine print on your mortgage. Some come with the sweet option to pay off up to 20% of the principal each year without getting dinged with penalties. Get the lowdown on these terms before you start throwing extra cash at your mortgage. There you have it. These are the crucial points you need to consider to make a savvy decision that's right for your wallet and your peace of mind. Keep these in mind and you'll be in a strong position to decide the best path for your financial journey. Practical advice, making the right choice. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty of making the right choice between knocking out that mortgage early or making your cash work overtime in the investment arena. It's not just about playing with calculators. It's about steering your financial ship in the direction that best matches your life's map. Here's your guide to navigating these waters. 1. Evaluate your financial stability. First things first, take a hard look at where you stand financially. That means checking out how stable your income is, what your debt looks like, how robust your emergency fund is, and what other bills are knocking at your door. If you're sitting pretty with a solid safety net and your debts are low, you might be ready to throw some money into investments, but if you're craving some peace of mind or retirement is on the horizon, squashing that debt might just be your ticket. Two, understand the terms of your mortgage. Not all mortgages are created equal. Get cozy with your mortgage terms. Find out if you can make extra payments without getting slapped with penalties. Some mortgages are pretty flexible, letting you pay off a chunk each year without fuss which can save you a heap in interest without locking you into a tighter financial squeeze. 3. Consult with financial professionals. When you're looking at big money moves, it pays to bring in the experts. A financial advisor can help you sift through the details and balance the scales between paying off your mortgage and investing. Don't forget a tax pro too, especially to figure out how to keep more of your money away from the tax man. 4. Assess risk tolerance and investment opportunities. Take a temperature check on how much financial heat you can handle. If the market's roller coaster makes you queasy, the steady guaranteed savings from paying down your mortgage might be your speed. But if you're the type who can ride out the highs and lows, 
the broader investment world might offer bigger thrills and bigger returns. 5. Simulate different scenarios. Fire up those financial modeling tools or huddle with your advisor to play out different what-if scenarios. This could be anything from interest rate hikes, market downturns, or changes in your personal financial life. Seeing how these scenarios play out can help sharpen your decision-making. 6. Make a long-term plan. Whatever route you choose, make sure it's part of a long-haul plan. Align this with your big-picture life goals, retiring comfortably, funding your kids' college education, or building that dream wealth chest. Your financial maneuvers today should be stepping stones to your future visions. 7. Review regularly. Set a reminder to revisit your financial plan regularly. Life throws curveballs, and the economy does its dance, so keeping your strategy responsive to changes keeps you on the right track. Stick to these steps and you're not just making choices based on dollars and cents. You're crafting a financial strategy that resonates with your values and long-term visions. That's how you play the game smart. Final thoughts. Choosing whether to squash that mortgage early or to invest those extra bucks isn't just about crunching numbers. It's about steering your financial ship in the right direction according to your life's big picture and money beliefs. Sure, the math helps light the way, but how you handle risk, your financial footing, and where you see yourself down the line weigh just as heavily. Remember, the best move isn't just what looks great on a spreadsheet, but what sits right with you and your family's future. Keep on learning. Don't shy away from getting advice from the pros and make it a habit to give your financial plan a once-over regularly. This way, you make sure your financial moves are always in step with the dreams you've got mapped out for you and yours. That's how you make sure you're not just making money moves, but making the right money moves.